Studies in English Classics, Shakespeare, Julius Caesar. Hey, media mail gang. So I'm back at the house. Ignore the hair. I've been busy listing and a bunch of other stuff. So it's a couple days later since the haul and I'm going to go over quickly what we found. Uh, so these were obviously, like you heard, a uh, personal purchase for Izzy. I'm going to let her play with those. This was an Amazon find. So that's going to go in with FBA stuff. 
Next we have two golden books and I know I'm kind of new to the whole GoPro thing and having it strapped on so my angle wasn't the greatest and I'm sorry about that. A lot of the thrifting footage wasn't very good or you couldn't see what I was doing but this is what I grabbed. Those golden books. Uh, this one was 50 cents and this one was 50 cents. So what I'm doing with these is I'm going to start making book journals. I wanted to use free inventory for this as much as possible, but I sold a lot of my golden books in lots a while back. So I need to kind of get that collection back up again. And I know more will come my way, but until then, I want to keep experimenting with golden books. So 50 cents for the books. Uh, this one's pretty spanking brand new, too. Um, this one's a little bit more vintage. So anyways, 50 cents into golden books, and I can kind of play around with them and turn them into book journals. Now here we have some vintage books. We have Clueless. We have Goosebumps. I'm always growing my Goosebumps collection, so I'll just add this to collection, review it. Any duplicates I have of my Goosebumps, I usually try to sell in uh, book boxes, or I'll try and sell them on Etsy, since vintage is kind of like the scene for Etsy. And then Lizzie McGuire, again, always building up my 90s uh, vintage stuff like that. Next, I have a uh, Meet Kristen, or Kirsten, sorry. A lot of my American Girl books are uh, ex-library, so to have some that aren't ex-library is kind of nice. Uh, Goodwill is 50 cents. On the back here, it says $3, which if you're a thrifty mom, you know that these stickers are typically at like Once Upon a Child uh, books, uh, retail stores. So I'm trying to get the stickers off and combine this one with my lot of my tons of other American Girl books and see if I have enough to start creating a lot and get them listed very soon. So next is this Browning's The Pied Piper. Um, this one was only a dollar. I couldn't find any sold comps immediately on eBay. I am going to do a little bit of worth point research. For only a dollar into it, I'm going to take the chance on it because it is the uh, antique 1897 copy. Um, and it's in pretty good condition. I mean, there's some writing, but overall it's in really nice shape, uh, very minor foxing. And then there is a ton of writing in the back. I don't know what all that is about. Um, but anyways, for only a dollar into it, I'm definitely going to give it a shot and see what I can get on eBay for it. And then next is this Hamlet William Shakespeare. This is a cameo classic and this one is from 1909. I found this exact version sold for $10, I think, plus shipping. I'm going to list mine a little bit higher, do a little bit of worth point research. Uh, mine is in really good condition um, and it's not X library. It's got a little bit of writing inside, but overall it's in really, really, really good shape. And it was uh, $2. So that would give me a nice bread and butter sale. So that's pretty much everything I grabbed at Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video and bear with me as I begin to learn my GoPro. I promise you the footage will start getting better with my thrifting. Um, I'm just kind of learning the right angles to have it at and everything like that when I'm out and about with the GoPro. So thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.